On prehistoric Earth as a huge alien UFO departs from the planet a humanoid alien, stands beside the waterfall and drinks the dark liquid causing his body to disintegrate as its remains cascade into the waterfall the alien's DNA triggers a biogenetic reaction later in 2089 to archaeologists Elizabeth Sean Charlie Howe away are doing an observation in a cave when they discover an ancient star map and consider it as an invitation from humanity creators or they call it as engineers in a large spaceship the ship's crew makes the long journey sleeping in status while an android robot named David monitors their voyage after two years the ship suddenly stops and says that they I have already reached the destination threshold meaning that they have arrived at their destination the first rule or known as mission director Meredith Vickers has awakened and is approached by David commanding him to wake up the entire crew the crew that is presented a visual recording showing Sir Peter Whelan the CEO of Whelan Corporation the man who gather the funding to construct the advanced research vessel named for medias to find the engineers the Boston introduces the archaeologists who explains that archaeological digs from all around the world indicate the same pictogram showing then worshipping giant creatures pointing into a star from that they then found a planet which is capable of sustaining life named have a 223 the planet that they just arrived at the previous lands near a large artificial structure in a valley with six hours left of the daylight the survey team starts to suit up and heads inside to explore using mr five fields advanced detector drones they are able of picture the whole grid of the structure they continue their expedition deeper and then discover a room with a hole inside it where the years breathe bull as something is generating an atmosphere. David on the other side discovers green slime which contains many particles and makes some electric sound he also presses a sequence of buttons to the wall activating a recorded hologram which shows several engineers in spacesuits running from something the survey team then chases the hologram and finds one of the engineers falls down in front of a door whose body is still there the carbon reader indicates that the body has been laying there for more than two thousand years david attempts to open the door and they discover a room full of well-arranged cylindrical vases containing black liquid and paintings all over the wall suddenly the control unit detects incoming silica storms and the survey team immediately starts to fall back they also bring the dead engineer's head and david Packs one of the vases the team removes the helmet from the deceased engineers. Had manages to shop for head back to life momentarily before it explodes into pieces Shaw. Then takes a DNA sample and analyzes. Discovering that the engineer has the same DNA as humans with a perfect match David investigates the stolen cylinder and discovers the black liquid with him he secretly takes a drop of the liquid and intentionally infects Holloway with the substance by giving him a glass of champagne unaware of what is within his body he engages in sexual intercourse with Shaw. On the other side Phil Field and Melbourne who were left behind continue their exploration in the cave they come across a pile of engineer bodies while they are suddenly told by the control unit that a detector drone reading a life form from the west but it suddenly disappears claiming that it's just a glitch having known that they decide to walk towards the east and arrive at the previously visited row room they spot something slithering in the river of black liquid and suddenly a snake-like creature pops out the aggressive creature then attacks melbourne phil field tries his best to help his mate but it ends up breaking his arms and killing melbourne it also sprays corrosive fluid towards melbourne helmet destroying it and burning his face the next day the crew returns to the structures while David suddenly stops and turns to another direction he then discovers a room containing a surviving engineer kept in a status he attempts to press the buttons causing a chair to swivel out and commencing the engineer's hologram and engineer spotted playing flute and suddenly a huge space map appears highlighting Earth as its next destination. On the other side the crew finally finds Melbourne corpses but Hallway's condition is getting worse as the side effect of consuming. The black liquid they then rushed back to previous Vickers is already waiting for them preventing Holloway from getting into the ship. Equipped with flamethrowers she finally burns him to death. 
On the ship show being examined by David who reveals she is three months pregnant that's quite odd as they only have the intercourse ten hours ago feeling something is wrong with it she insists to get it out immediately but David suggests putting her into a cry as Desus until they reach Earth. While she's going to be taken Shaw fights back manages to run away and performs a self-surgery with a med pot. Surprisingly an octopus-like alien is extracted from her belly show manages to escape from the pot and traps the weird creature. There. The control unit detects that Phil Field's monitor just popped up and finds that he is actually standing outside the ship with that monster face. He becomes much stronger and attacks the ship crew. They finally manage to take him out by burning him with. The flamethrowers on the run shall finds out that Wayland and is still alive and was on the ship all the time he explains that meeting the makers or the engineers could help him to cheat death in some way but charges that they must leave because the engineers are not what they are thinking they kill people. He refuses as they have been so close to meet them and this will be their only chance while dressing up show meets the Prometheum Captain Yannick who speculates that this planet is not their home and the structure was part of an engineer military base that lost control of its biological weapon the meter Gnu black liquid. Bickers warns the CO that he will die if he goes to the structure there it also reveals that the old man is actually her father. They then returned or part of the structure David had visited before coming across thousands of the cylindrical bases given a live stream from Shaw's camera the Control room discovers that the room is actually a spaceship David reveals that the engineers were heading to the Earth to destroy humanity because sometimes to create one must first destroy they attempt to awaken the survey. Having engineer as he wakes up David speaks to him to explain what well and wants unfortunately the engineer responds by decapitating David killing well and a team show manages to escape but the engineer touches a ball of green energy activating the spaceship and bringing out a weapon-like chair he sets the course back to where have to continue his mission to this. Troy humanity and the shift starts taking off on the other side charges Yannick to prevent the alien spaceship from flying even further. Convinced by Shaw the captain manages to stop the ship by crashing it with the previous killing himself and his remaining crew only. Bickers who manages to escape from the ship ejecting in an escape pod as the ship collides it starts rolling in a perfectly straight line killing bikers if she fails to outrun it it's quite funny to see bikers inability to run in a different direction barely surviving show makes it a wreck prometheum and finds the alien offspring she had removed previously now has grown to enormous size luckily it is still trapped in the medical bay surprisingly david is still alive and reveals to her that the engineer has survived the crash and is coming for moments later the engineer forces open the ship's airlock and attack Shaw but she manages to open the medical base door and unleashes the alien offspring after a struggle. The engineer subdued by the gigantic creature which thrust an overpositor down the engineer's throat killing him. David begs for Shaw's help and claims that there is still another ship and he could fly the ship without an option and desperate for an answer show then recovers David's head and body from the Wrecked engineer ship with his help instead of flying back to Earth they are. Heading for the engineer's homeworld hoping to find why they created humanity but only to attempt to destroy it later. The black liquid was originally created by the engineers as a biological weapon with the purposes to wipe out the entire planet especially Earth. It's actually a lethal mutagen of pathogen composed of billions of small microorganisms they were kept in the cylindrical base due to its unstable nature at ambient temperature as we saw in the previous seeing where the crew forced into the room and disrupt the atmosphere the black liquid begins to react we also have seen throughout the movie that the creatures in fact the hosts causing them to mutate 